Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about February favorites, so some of my favorite products from the month of February. So I want to talk about a couple lotions and potions types of things first. And the first thing that I have is this hand cream from the Body Shop. This is the Mango Hand Cream. And it just comes in a little tube like this. I got this on my way out of Ulta one day. And you know those little columns that they have near um, near the checkout are super dangerous with little mini things. <laughs> I can't really help myself, but this is really nice. I love to put on some hand cream before I go to bed at night um, to make sure that my hands are nice and moisturized, especially during these really, really cold months. It's good to make sure that my hands are not getting super dried out because they do anyway, even if I put lotion on them in these types of dry climates. So um, I love to use this at night and it just smells really fruity and mango scented and you can't hate that. Another thing I've been loving this month is this uh, mask that I got by Basha, this one here. And I got this actually as a Sephora Park and it's a luminizing black mask and it says that it's a peel off mask. And I admit the first time that I put this on, um, I was a little nervous about it because I haven't really used peel off masks much. And I read the directions and I made sure to put it on just as it said so that I wouldn't screw it up. And honestly, once it dried and I was ready to peel it off, I felt it on my face and it was really dry and it felt like a very thin layer even though it said to put on a really thick opaque layer, which I did, but I was like, there's no way that this is gonna peel off, this is not going to work. And, but as soon as I got a little bit of it off, it started to just peel off and it was the coolest thing. I mean, honestly, part of why I liked it was because it was really cool to pull it off, but, um, but what was really cool about it was when I pulled it off, it's kind of gross, but you could see some of the gunk that had come up from my pores and honestly, it's nice to be able to see what a mask is doing. That's really, that's helpful because sometimes you don't really know if you just wash it off. And I love some of those masks too, but this was really cool and I felt like I could see that it really had done something. And to me that makes a big difference. And I thought that it did a really nice job. Um, it's pretty specific. It's more for if you want to clear out your pores. I don't know that it's really great for like an actual blemish or something like that, but for clearing out your pores, that's really, really nice. I like that. So I actually have one tool to talk about, and that is this Sonia Kashuk brush. And it says it's number 27. And this is an eyeliner brush, and it's angled, as you can see there. And this works really, really well. It's very thin, as you can see there, and has a great angle to it. And it's pretty soft, but it really allows you to get a perfect wing liner and make it a lot easier if you're not as comfortable with a pointed brush or a liquid liner or something like that. I used it to wing out my liner a little bit here. And it makes it really easy because you just can take that little tip there and 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 pull it up to, to create a very thin line. And it's very precise and it's also, it's you can just get it right at Target. Sonia Kashuk is um, exclusive to Target. And very affordable, really great brush, especially for the price. This is a really good one. Another sort of tool, I don't know if you can call it a tool, um, is this makeup setting spray uh, from L'Oreal Infallible, their Infallible line. This is pretty new and it's really great to find um, a setting spray at the drugstore. I know NYX does them too, um, but I was really excited to try this and I have used it all month. I really haven't used my Urban Decay ones and those are so much more expensive. This isn't cheap, I mean, especially for the drugstore, but it's, I would say, probably like half the price of the Urban Decay. So that makes a difference. And this is the type of thing you can get a little out of hand spraying it like crazy on your face, but it really does help keep your makeup lasting a lot longer. And so I like using one of these things. This is oil free, which is also great. And I just was really excited about this because it's great to have another option besides the Urban Decay one. So really, really great product. I really enjoyed that this month. Another great thing from the drugstore that I found, which I know is not a new product, but it was new to me 
Um, I needed a powder to use um, because I wanted to film a drugstore makeup tutorial, which will be up in a few weeks. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. But I found this powder that I've heard about on YouTube and, and whatnot. So I thought I would try it. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. It comes like this. The top comes off. And it's just, it's got a cute little imprint in there. But it's just a pressed powder. This is the transparent one. So it's not going to give you any extra coverage. It's not going to add a cakiness. It's just going to set your makeup, which is really what I want. I want to keep myself from getting too oily throughout the day. And I really liked this. This was this is a really nice powder. Um, so I ended up using this a lot more throughout the month because I liked the way that it felt on my skin. It's really smooth. It doesn't feel cakey when you put it on, which is really what you want from a powder if you're putting it on over your foundation. You don't want something that's going to feel cakey. And I also felt like I could put this underneath my eyes if I wanted to, if I'm just trying to be quick about things and I don't want to bother with something else. This works underneath the eyes too and it's not cakey, so I really enjoyed using this and it's really cheap at the drugstore, which is oh, always a good thing. So I actually have three things from MAC. Um, some are really, really old things and some I've had for a little while. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is something that I've had for a long time and I am so close to being out of it as you can see here. <laughs> That's all I have left. That's it. That's all it will go up to. Um, this is the lipstick called Fast Play. It's one of their amplified lipsticks. But the color is just such a perfect color for every day. I found that I was reaching for this a lot if I was doing a just simple makeup and I wanted to do a natural looking lip and not something too bright like what I'm wearing right now, um, but something that would have a little more color to it and depth to it than just a pink or a nude. This was a little bit darker. It's a little bit more of like a rosy nude. I'll show you, I'll swatch it on my hand. Um, but it's just a nice color and it really would flatter lots of skin tones. You can see that there. It's a really pretty color. It's just a little bit of a deeper rosy nude and it's just great for every day and I just I found myself reaching for this more and more and I uh, can't believe I'm almost out of it. It's just crazy. <laughs> Another MAC product that I've been enjoying a lot and getting a lot of use out of is the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Paint Pot and Painterly. And this is definitely not a new product. Um, it comes in a little pot like this and this is what it looks like. And it's really like my skin tone, which is why I like it. And I will say the only thing that I don't love about it is that for me, I have to wear a primer underneath it, an eyeshadow primer, because my eyelids are pretty oily. I know for a lot of people they can wear this as a base without a primer, and that's awesome. I wish I could, but um, but even so, I've still loved it because it really it's pretty much like my skin tone. It's a little bit brighter, and so on days where I'm not going to wear any shadow, um, but I want to even out the skin on my eyelids because I do have some veins on there. This will just smooth it out and brighten everything up. This was great to even it out the skin on my eyelids and I really liked it. And the last MAC product and product of my favorites is um, a blush by MAC. This is a sheer tone blush called Blush Baby. And I've used this in one of my videos. And this has been a great blush. I've really enjoyed using this because, as you can see, it's a really light rosy color. And you can see, it's just, it's pretty natural. It's, it's not that much darker than, you know, your skin, but it adds a nice light flush of color. And it's a great blush to use if you want to do a darker lip or if you want to do a darker eye and you don't want your blush to take away from what's going on other parts of your face, this is such a great versatile blush to use to still put a little bit of color on your cheeks. So I found that I got a lot of use out of this because I just could use it for really any look. Um, I could just grab it and I didn't have to think about it too much, whether it was really gonna go with my look. It really just goes with everything. And it's very smooth feeling. Some of the MAC blushes can be a little powdery, but when I swatched this one, it just felt super smooth and it's just the perfect everyday color. It just goes with everything, which is awesome. So the last thing, I do have to talk about one product that I didn't like this month. Um, 
I may not have something every month that I don't like, but this month there really was something that I didn't like. And I wrote a blog post all about this, so um, I will link that below in case you want to read more about it, because I'm not going to talk about everything. But that's this Milani Easy Brow, this mechanical eyebrow pencil. Um, this is in the color dark brown. It's an automatic pencil and it says it's water resistant. I don't know about that, but because I haven't really tried that. But honestly, I just, oh, this was just such a fail for me. I only used this twice because I tried it the first time and really didn't like it, was really disappointed. I will say the color was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's the main problem is that there are only two colors that you can choose from and I would not typically go for dark brown even though I, my hair is dark, my brows are not that dark and I don't like them to be that dark. Um, so the color was not as bad as I expected. Um, I'll give it that. And the spoolie end is actually pretty good and was useful in blending it out because that was not so easy. But the problem is, first of all, <laughs> of the many problems that I'm gonna to touch upon a, f a couple of them in the video. But as you can see, it's already, I've only used it twice, but it's not very pointy anymore. It was pointy, but it just lost that. And there's really no way to sharpen it. I mean, it twists up, but you don't really have a way to sharpen it. And the other problem was it was just like way too creamy. And with a brow pencil, you don't want that because it makes it so much more difficult to be precise and it just was messy and you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm not even pressing that hard, but it's just like really creamy and messy. And that's something that you would like to have in an eyeliner, but not so much in a brow pencil. So um, I do have this, I will use it probably just as an eyeliner. Um, Cause if it's water resistant, well, that would be great. But as a brow product, oh man, I, I just, the second time I used it, I was like, oh, this just, oh God, it looks horrible. It just looks so bad. It was really difficult to work with and I was just not, not feeling it. And there are definitely other brow products from the drugstore that are even cheaper than this one and I think are much better. So if you're wanting to save money on brows, there are other options. I talk about that in the blog as well. So don't fret, there are affordable brow products, but this just isn't one of them. All right, everyone, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my February favorites. I, once again, can't believe that it's March, but I'm really excited about everything in March. I'm getting married this month, uh, which clearly will be my ultimate favorite. Um, I don't know how many products I'll have the month of March because of all the craziness, but I'm sure I'll still make a favorites video sometime in April. Make sure if you are not subscribed to please subscribe, like this video, that helps me a lot. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.